Hello everybody. In this short video, I will be talking about key clock client adapters. First, we will be talking about what are key clock client adapters. Then we talk about what are the client adapters supported protocols. Normally, client adapters support both open and connect and SAML. Let's get started. First, we need to understand what are the key clock client adapters. Adapters can be defined as a set of libraries used to secure an entity. Entity can be a server such as Wildfly, Tomcat or Apache or an entity can be a framework such as Spring. The second thing is adapters are tightly integrated with underlying platform. That means each adapter heavily depends on the resources provided by the underlying platform. As an example, a Tomcat adapter uses libraries provided by Tomcat server. A Spring Boot adapter depends on the libraries provided by Spring. By using underlying platform resources, these adapters have been able to minimize usage of boilerplate codes. This tight integration is a reason for them to be called as adapters instead of libraries. Other fact is these are easily configurable. At the integration, what you have to do is add in new jars and few configuration changes to your project. Another advantage is that these adapters support both SAML and OpenID Connect. Here you can see the list of supported platform via OpenID Connect. You can see not only the servers, it support JavaScript and mobile applications as well. Here are the supported platforms via SAML protocol. SAML is a bit old but a mature protocol used for authentication. We have come to the end of this video. As I mentioned earlier, this is a very short video. I believe now you have an idea about what are Keyclock adapters and what are the supported protocols and platforms by Keyclock adapters. I believe now you can start using a Keyclock adapter for your server or framework. In order to do that, you can go through the Keyclock documentation. Soon I will put more videos describing how to use each adapter. See you then. Thank you.